Hi guys. Uh, I'm doing a hack or showing you a hack on a, a CU2 Honda Accord Euro. It's a, a 2009. So CU2. Uh, the hack I'm doing, and I've already removed uh, the part I'm modifying, is the slave clutch slave cylinder. So I've uh, what I've done it sits uh, like that in the car. Looking from the front, this end here goes to the clutch fork. The uh, hydraulic line comes into this side here. Bleed nipple there, which obviously I've already undone. These two bolts, they're uh, 12 mil, I believe. Uh, yes, 12 mil bolts uh, hold this slave cylinder to the engine block. So I've removed the whole thing. Had a container underneath just to catch the excess fluid that's draining out. Uh, these tools here are all that you need for this hack. A lot of guys, because what we're wanting to do is remove this. So this part here uh, actually restricts the flow of the clutch fluid when you're pushing in and releasing the clutch. So if you're trying to shift quickly, uh, often what will happen is you'll grind your gears because the clutch is not actually actuating quick enough. Now Honda have done that on more of the modern Hondas uh, to avoid any transmission damage. But really it's about mechanical sympathy. I'm going to remove this, uh, or not the whole thing, just uh, little internal parts. Uh, but the hack I'm showing you is how to get that little C-clip, which is in a channel there, out easily. Now a lot of guys have said they grind uh, the top of this off to be able to get to the C-clip. Uh, other guys have said that it takes ages and it's real pain to be able to get that clip out. I'm not sure if there's any particular easy way to do it. So uh, I'm just going to tell you right now what tools you need. Obviously I've got my gloves on. I've got a rag for wiping up any fluid. A little bit of WD-40 in case any of the fittings are hard to remove. Uh, my 12mm uh, ratchet. A 2.5mm drill bit and drill. Uh, to get the lines off, you use a 17mm and a 10mm. So the 17mm, that's for the hydraulic line I'm talking about. The 17mm goes over that. And the 10mm, uh, what did I say? Yeah, 10mm is just to undo that hydraulic line. Right, so once that's done, all you need is your drill. Now in the back of this uh, C-clip channel, all you have to do and I'm not sure if you can see it there, hopefully you can. I've just drilled a little 2.5mm, uh, actually it's a 3mm, I'm sorry. I started off with a, a 2mm and went to a 3mm. So all you have to do now, and very carefully with your hand over the top there to make sure the C-clip doesn't spring away, is just push that and you can see how the C-clip has actually just started to pop out of the recess. Then all you do is grab your other little tool there and while keeping your fingers over it, just lever it up so it'll flick out. And so what'll happen, and I've just done it right now, is that C-clip will pop right out. Then all you do is with a pair of pliers I don't actually have now, you pull this out, it's a little cap, and behind that cap is two parts, a little plastic uh, filter it looks like and a, a black plastic cap and those two parts are the bits that you discard and then all you do is replace this cap uh, put the c-clip back in the channel and read um, what's the word I'm thinking of uh, reassemble everything <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> uh, reassemble your slave cylinder put it back onto the car and with uh, fresh dot uh, four fluid, three or four I believe can be used in the Accord Euros, um, you just re-bleed the system. So uh, you can either gravity, free, uh, gravity uh, bleed it uh, or get somebody to give you a hand just to, to pump the pedal like you would with brakes. So hopefully that's helpful guys. I know that it'll, it'll take you a lot less time and uh, yeah, I hope you benefit like I did. Thanks, guys.